going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their own countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. Remember, those books are mandatory because they show you how the world really works. Plus, the three kids' books is time to re-educate. Also, those who donate to the Cash App, Patreon, much love, keep it coming. And then also, those who are shopping at both stores, much love, keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And right now, guys, cryptos are moving lower. But what did I advise you yesterday? Do not allow this dip to scare you. We know the Fed meets today and tomorrow, and it all depends on what Jerome states. Do not allow this to scare you. Now, also, guys, we have over 12,000 cryptos. And like I stated, guys, we're definitely going to take a beat down right along with stocks. But they're still pumping the market. That's how we know they're not ready to release us yet. When they start talking to taper talks, yes, we'll have a pullback. But we know they're going to set up a bigger narrative in order to crash the market. So do not allow this dip to scare you. Plus, guys, remember, Europe is now in futures. So our open interest is going to be even bigger. So, guys, make sure you're paying attention to the actual indicators. You have volume. We have tether. We have USDC. Of course, again, the Fed is doing over a trillion dollars to manipulate yields. We see it for ourselves. And also, guys, we have the Grayscale Well. What did they do? They dumped $3 billion at the right time. So, guys, all this is manipulated. Just make sure you're paying attention to the actual moving pieces. And then plus, guys, of course, we know Friday we have futures. So we know that we have Bitcoin, micro Bitcoin futures, and Ethereum futures. But like I stated, guys, our open interest Still should be great as long as the Fed does not talk about the taper. Of course, if they talk about the taper talk, we're in a whole nother different strategy. But the markets are just not going to go down. We know they have to build that narrative in order to crash. Yes, they want to let some of this air out this bubble. But guys, getting over into some crypto news, and we have a lot of crypto news today. Following the SEC notice, Coinbase has abandoned the crypto lending program. And guys, we know that's all part of the movie. We know Coinbase is part of the New World Order's corporations. We know their job is to build this digital economy. And also, guys, we have Coinbase Ventures and Samsung Next, amongst others, back Matrika's 14 million Series A funding round. And guys, we know this is about surveillance, monitoring the blockchain. Now we have PayPal releases new consumer app for crypto savings and direct deposits and basically you can manage your crypto build payments high yield savings for u.s customers and guys we already know paypal is definitely a new world order company also help paving the way for this digital economy now we have miami coin generates 2000 every 10 minutes for the city 
And again, guys, what is that about? Adoption. Now we have Binance again in the news, part of the regulatory movie that's going on. So we have Binance to cease crypto futures and options in Australia. And basically they have 90 days to close positions. And guys, we know there's a bigger agenda behind it. Only thing we have to do is sit back and watch this movie play out. Now we have Deutsche launches Solana and Polkadot ETNs by Van Eck. And we see a lot of these casino products being built all over Europe. Europe has actually helped leading the way along with the emerging markets. And of course, the United States is lagging behind. Now we have top Brazilian investment bank BTG Patrol launches crypto trading app. And also we have the European fantasy soccer and digital collection platform so rare gets $680 million funding led by SoftBank to grow NFT sports portfolio. And guys, what a lot of these athletes don't know is all this digital platform is going to replace them. In the virtual world, there will be no reason to watch an athlete because you're going to be able to become that athlete. You'll be able to become whatever you want in this virtual world. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. And then lastly, guys, we have Polymath to launch blockchain built to tokenize stocks. And remember, guys, everything is going to be tokenized and put on blockchain. I did the video last year, a long time ago, about NASDAQ, how they were already setting up tokenization for stocks. And then plus, we have Paxos that already has the real-time settlement working. So the New Road Order has a lot of moving pieces, but it's all going to move into one, especially once they put in this infrastructure package and we start getting the smart cities, robots, drones, algorithms. I'm going to bring you a video today about that. We see the problem reaction solution in play for every single place in the economy. And it's all going to come together by what? A crisis. Never, ever let a good crisis go to waste. Because we know when it comes to the new world order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book, plus the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, if you know cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance, do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel, Crypto Teacher Stocks, you have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get that home stocks to see where the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing they was getting that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and y'all have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.